What's going on guys, I'm Bill and welcome to Bill's How To. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to install a toilet roll holder. They're all pretty much exactly the same installation process. Really simple and straightforward. Let's get straight into it guys. Let's do this. All right guys, so if we open up the packaging here, you'll find that they're all pretty much exactly the same in terms of installation process. Um, it'll come with a set of screws and also some plugs, which I tend to pretty much always throw away. I don't really like um, these plugs very much, and I find the heads or the tips on the screw itself strip really easily. So I usually get rid of those and I'll install my own plugs. This one here is the one that we're installing today. So pretty easy, straightforward. Um, what we've got is you'll find always on the bottom here of the little section that mounts up against the wall, you'll find it's either a flathead screw or a torque screw, or it could even be um, an Allen key wrench, really depends. But if you have a quick look down the bottom here, you can see it's a flathead um, screw that we've got in order to adjust this section here. So now we can take our flathead screwdriver and we can back off that screw down the bottom and you'll notice there's a little mounting plate in here. So this mounting plate, you just wanna make note of which way it actually gets installed. So the flat section is always gonna be up against the wall. So that's pretty much all you have to remember. Flat section goes up against the wall. If you try and install it this way here, when you tighten up that screw, it's not gonna hold on tight and it's gonna be nice and loose. You won't really have a very nice secure toilet roll holder. Um, so what we're gonna do now is if we have a look at the wall here, whether you're drilling through tiles, um, plasterboard, or in this case here, it is actually a cement board. So you wanna also um, always check what the surface is that you're drilling into. Now, if it's a tiled surface, you can use a little um, hammer drill, okay? Use the hammer function on your drill. I find that's an easy way to get through the tiles without cracking it. Um, I think I might've shown you guys a previously a video on how to do that, um, but if not, let me know in the comment section below and I'll do another one later on. Um, but in this case here, it's not plasterboard, it's cement board. So what that means is in order to create our hole, we have to first pre-drill that. Um, and because it's a cement board, the plugs that I always tend to go for, um, which are these ones here, they're called Wallmates, um, little white plastic uh, plugs. These ones here work very, very well for plasterboard. However, when it comes time for installing onto a cement board, what you can use are these ones here. So it's basically a metal version of those ones there. You can get through soft timber with these. Um, we might still have to actually create a pilot hole first, and then we can screw this one here afterwards. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a pencil, or in this case here, I might actually use a screwdriver, and we're gonna mark up the location. So this one here needs to be patched um, and painted. That's for another video or another time. But what I always like to do in order to get my positioning is just basically sit on the toilet, Imagine you're trying to reach out for the toilet roll holder. Now in this case here, it would have been too far anyway for my liking. Um, so somewhere around here would have been perfect. So what I'm gonna do is pop that on top and we wanna just try and get that as level as possible. Now if you don't have good eyesight or you're not good at leveling things out, what you can do is pop on a level. However, there is a little bit of adjustment that you can make with these ones here. So if we have a look on the slots, One's a little bit wider going out to the side, one's a little bit wider going up vertically. So that means that we can play with it up and down, left and right, just a little bit. So if you do happen to take it a little bit out of line, it's not the end of the world. What we're gonna do now is just make a little marking. Top one can go here, bottom one can go here. What you have to always do as well is make your marking in the middle of these slots. And the reason for that is that's gonna give you maximum um, adjustment. If you put that right up on top or right down the bottom, you basically lost one of the directions of your adjustments. So now we've got two little markings here. I'll just go over them once again, make sure I can see them perfectly. And I'll now take a drill bit in order to go through this plasterboard. Now, if uh, sorry, if through the cement sheet. If this one here was a plasterboard, um, it's pretty soft. What I would do generally is with the screwdriver, just keep turning it until it goes straight through. And then usually I find that I can get the plugs in like that. But because it's a cement sheet, um, I'm gonna pre-drill that one there first. So now that we've got that, we can take our plugs and we can drive those ones there in. Make sure that's nice and flush. Take another one.
Now we can take some screws. If this was going through plasterboard, it would have been a lot easier, um, but going through cement sheet, you have to do a little bit more prep work. So we'll take two screws and we'll put on our mounting bracket. Doesn't really matter which way's up, which way's down on these mounting brackets. Put the screw through. Now you don't want to go through all the way just yet. And the reason for that is we're going to get this to become nice and level first before we tighten that up. So if we have a look at our mounting bracket now, this is what I meant by the adjustments. You can move this a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right, and a little bit up and down as well. So what you want to do is make sure that you're completely happy with the position, then you can tighten up your screws. Now that we've got that on, we can take our toilet roll holder and our screwdriver. And we can simply drop that straight on top. Once again, make sure it's nice and level. Tighten up the screw from the bottom. If you want to make a little bit of adjustments, you can loosen that back off. Turn it a little bit, whichever direction it needs to go in. A little bit back to the left. And once that's done guys, we've got a nice secure toilet roll holder, nice and simple. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. As always, like, comment and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Bill. Thanks for watching Bill's How To.